Hello everyone, welcome to the Codrammers. In this tutorial, you will be learning how to create APIs for login, logout and logout from all devices. Till now, we just had a theoretical knowledge of how Django REST framework works and some implementations of regular CRUD APIs. By the end of this tutorial, you will be confident in the real life implementation of APIs. So let's get started. This is the empty Django project. I have shown how to create a Django project in PyCharm in previous videos. I will share the link in the description. You can check it for the reference. Let's install the Django REST framework in this project. pip install Django REST framework. And in the installed apps, we can simply write REST framework. We will start by overriding the existing user model. Actually, Django creates a basic user model for us by default. But most of the times, we want to have a custom user model according to our business or project needs. So for that, let's create a new app. For creating a new app, python manage.py start app, the app name would be accounts. Let's go to the settings.py file and add accounts in the installed apps. Now go to the models.py file in the accounts app. Instead of creating the user model from scratch, we can extend the existing classes which have few required fields already implemented in it. The classes are abstract user and abstract base user. They are imported from Abstract user is a complete user model with all fields written in it. Hover on the abstract user and use Ctrl plus click in Windows and Command plus click in Mac and you will go to the implementation of this. If you see here, abstract user has all fields we generally require, first name, last name, email and many more. And if you go back here and let's go to abstract base user. And abstract base user class only contains the authentication functionality, but no actual fields. Only password and last login are given in this. Here in our project, we are going to use the abstract base user class where we will implement our own fields. So let's go back to our models.py in accounts app. Here we create our custom user model. Max length is 254. And here we should give unique equal to true and password here auto now add says that when the new record is created then created at field will be updated with the current time whereas auto now equal to true says that every time the object is updated the updated at field would be updated with the current time here we can give the choices here choices decides that the gender field can only accept the values between 1 2 and 3 this is the better way of implementation when you know only the limited values are to be stored in that particular field All these boolean fields is staff, is super user and is active are used in the permissions of the user. Here we are saying that the username field is email. Django's default user model uses the username for authentication. So now when Django performs authentication it uses email instead of username to validate if a user exists or not. And we have a required fields. Required fields has a list of fields that will be prompted when creating a super user with create super user management command. Apart from this, required fields has no effect in Django. Email and password doesn't need to be included in the required fields because they will be prompted by default. So here we are giving only gender. Now we need to create a manager here and assign it to this model with objects field. Django manager is a class that acts as an interface through which Django models interact with the databases. Every model has at least one manager object. It has a lot of methods 
attributes to ease working with the databases here we write objects equal to user manager let's create our manager here we will extend the base user manager in our manager class base user manager class has many useful utilities which are helpful for our user model so we are going to extend this class to keep them unchanged and we write our own methods for django's default user model it has internally handled creating the user super user but here we are using a custom user model so we need to write the create user and create super user methods here normalize email actually removes the extra spaces and makes the email to the lower case set password method converts the raw password to hashed password and stores it in the database and here we are creating the method for creating super users super user is the top level user who has permissions to access the django admin panel where he can perform read and write operations for a super user all the boolean fields related to the permissions of a user would be set to true and inside the custom user model we can also write the str method now go to the settings.py file and write here accounts is the app name and custom user is the model name now we have successfully pointed our new custom user model to django let's run the make migrations command and now migrate command for testing our custom user model we can create a super user here the is active field should be true by default Django internally checks if the user's is active field is true only then it allows the user to be logged in and we have to run the mic migrations and migrate command we haven't completed the code inside the create super user method finally we have to return self dot create user email password and extra fields now let's create the create super user again here it is asking for the gender as well as we have written it inside the required fields so if i give something like this and it shows the error because the value should be the integer the value 1 indicates male so here i am giving 1 and password would be anything here you go our super user has been created successfully this means our custom user model has no errors till now let's go here okay we have successfully logged in it says that we have to implement the hash module perms method in our custom user model go back to code inside here we can write we also need to implement the hash perm method and here you go here we cannot see the user table so we'll go to admin.py and register the model and when i refresh the page here you go you can see the users over here and when i opened the user the password is stored in the hashable form and all the values are being shown here we have successfully created our custom user model if you have any doubts related to this please feel free to comment and please follow us on our instagram page given in the description for the latest tips and tricks on python and django and many more please subscribe us to learn more about python and django thank you